Good day everyone and welcome to part three of the Cambercolian Rail Lines uh, West Wall project. I'm Ian and I'm your tour guide once again and what we're doing today I'm just showing you where we left off with part two and that is we've got the turnout cut into the uh, track up here and our plan is to get a rail going down and around the corner there and up on top of our new raised layout. So that's where we are right now and I'll be back later with another report as we progress. Thanks for watching. Well welcome back all. Uh, we're out in the workshop here now. We figured out uh, a bit of a, a radius and uh, kind of etched out the circle a little bit. We think what we need to make this curve so we've got it all kind of penciled in on this board. But I thought while we're out here I'll just show you some of the tools. I mean we've got a whole workshop full. Uh, we've got a lathe over here, uh, and we have a bandsaw for doing some cutting. We have a table saw. The thing with the table saw is when you're trying to when you're trying to cut down to miniature size, it's awful risky with the fingers on a table saw like that. So uh, I did invest in a in a hobby uh, hobby saw, I guess it's called, just little three inches. So uh, once that gets here. I guess we'll open it together and have a look at it. Over on the other side, we've got a drill press over there. Coming along, got a, if we can get around here. It's a mess in here. There's a radial saw sitting there and a 12 inch chop saw over there. So we've got a, you know, all the necessities of home uh, to, to turn out wood products. And that's basically what I do as another hobby is turn out rocking horses but that's uh, that's another story anyway we're gonna get back at it cut this wood up now and I'll see you back inside alrighty back again for a second we've got our, our piece kind of rough cut out here and as you can see it it's just laying there but uh, it looks like it fits pretty good go right in here there we are uh, and the more I look at it we might only have to channel down through that styrofoam, maybe halfway, you just put a small little cha channel in there and bring it back. And you're saying to yourself, well, that board starts out, it looks like it starts out at one end at two and a half inches, and there's three inches other places, and there's three and a half other places. By golly, you're right. But I'm going to show you a trick in a while how to get that perfectly straight. So uh, for now, we're just going to finish fitting this up, and once I got it fitted up, I'll come back again and show you what we're doing. All right, just a, a quick update here as to what we're doing. We've got this uh, piece in place. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I can say at the end there, we may have to notch it in maybe halfway into that styrofoam, which will give us about a one inch climb once we're inside the styrofoam, which is, that's good, that's, that's really nothing. So we're back here. We've notched it in, and the reason it's notched, what we want to do, if I can get close enough to it, is you can see a block right in here. And that's all we got is just some some wood scrap blocks shoved underneath this, this first uh, rise here, because eventually we're going to paper that in and plaster it in. So why spend money on nice fancy pieces of plastic to hold it up when all you're going to do is cover it up later anyway. So uh, that's the reason for that. So we notched it out to get around this one block and basically shove it in there. There we are. And we put, sorry about that, we'll get the camera lined up so you can see. There we are. So we've got a, a little mark on there and that's where we're going to cut it off. And when we finish cutting it off, right there, it's going to fit nice and flush right in here. And then what we're going to do is go to the other end, get it tight at this end, go to the other end there, and do the same. I'll talk to you again in a minute. Good morning all. Well, it's another day. We, uh, we worked on this for a while yesterday afternoon and I got called away doing something else. So we're back at it this morning. Uh, but, you know, don't for a minute think that this is, uh, you know, a real fast job. You, you can't do it fast. You have to take your time, go slow. You got all the time in the world, so don't worry about it. So what we've got here now, we've got our kind of our our piece of wood laid out. It, it's cut into the turnout, and it's slowly crawling up 
to the top of the foam. The only problem is that's a little over a 3% grade. We, we're running here from uh, the start uh, three and a half inches above ground and we're a full six inches when we get down there. So what we have to do is cut that back at least to five and that will give us probably a 2.25% grade going up which is about max for HO. You don't want to work your diesels to death climbing up hills. So uh, like I say two and a half Three degrees, always your maximum. Always keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, I'll cut out now. We're going to do some more work on here. Just make sure this fits. Cut it into the end. When we finish cutting it in the end, I'll be back. I'll show you a quick shot of that. And then we go out to the, uh, the workshop and recut some stuff. All right, see you in a bit. Hi, welcome back. We're out in the shop here, and I've got this piece of styrofoam with me. Uh, we, we did make the decision that we have to cut it down and channel into it. So I'm out here doing it my way and basically I just use a whatever they call it a putty knife and a heat source. Heat the putty knife and just run it through the same as you would. I mean you can buy the electric, uh, electric guns to do this. Uh, but there's various ways to do this. You can uh, you can actually take, once you've got your, your line in there, cut the styrofoam out along both lines in that center piece, take that and just channel it slowly from the top all the way to the bottom to nothing. So from zero up to uh, the two inches. So there are various ways of doing it. Just This is my way. Anyway, I'll cut it off here and I'll see you back in the house. Thanks. Alrighty, back in the house again. We've got our uh, our board laying back in place here now and uh, we put our styrofoam back in place up at the top we've got our channel cut into it we we'll just move in here and uh, it's roughed in I mean that's that's what it is it's roughed in we just want an idea of where it's going to go and what we'll do is we're going to smooth that out with some plaster to, to make it nice and now the next step is how do we make our ramp look nice okay so in a minute I'm going to be back and I'm going to have some cork road bed with me and we're going to start laying it on here and I'm going to show you what we do next. So hang in there and uh, back in a second. Okay, welcome back. I've got uh, Jennifer holding the camera here for a sec. Okay, we've got our board in place and uh, it's where it's going to be. So we want to make a couple of lines on here and the first one is just to line the end. All I'm going to do is take a pencil Put a line on the existing raised section. The other line we want is the very center of this track. So we just put a line right there and it just happens to match up with that notch that's there. So that's good. So once we've got these two lines, that's all we really need on here, we can take it away from here and put it someplace where we can work. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the cork on here now. And the cork, I mean that's all it is, it comes in strips like this. It's not uh, rocket science, you just bend it in half like this. Bend it in half back, away from itself. There we go, we got two sections. One side is beveled, and one side is nice and straight and flat. So we take the beveled side to the outside, and we find first our line and that's right here and we're going to overlap it here a little bit because we can always cut that off and we just go along our center line once we hit that first part of the center line that's all we need the rest of it what we're going to do is gently curve it and stick it down with some hot glue and just give ourselves a nice gentle curve all the way around right up to our styrofoam to the end there Okay, so I'll start gluing this and then we'll be back in just a sec. Alright, we're back again. It's actually about a minute later. This doesn't take long to put on. It's just a it cork with the glue. It sticks right down. Takes a couple of seconds to dry and that's it. The next important thing is, now we're putting the other piece on. You want to put the flat side to the flat side, but you want to stagger them. So what you're going to do is when you put your second piece on, stagger it up a couple of inches so that your end joins are never the same. Uh, one, it, it looks a whole lot better 
and two, it just, uh, you know, going across to try and get it to a line to carry on, uh, it just doesn't work. So if you do it like that, stagger it, you're, you're cutting off two inches, but, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll find some place to use it. I never throw anything away. Okay, so we'll glue this side down, and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, back again just to show you what I'm doing here. Uh, we've got the first two pieces on. I'm going to put the next piece on so it goes into the staggered end here. And you hold it there and kind of get a gentle curve on it all the way. And once you've got a gentle curve on it, just take a pen and put a pen mark. I think you, can, you might be able to see that here. We'll get right in. Just a light pen mark. All that's doing is, is giving me a guide to put the glue down. So what I do is I glue this side now and stick it down, glue the other side and we got another two pieces on. I'll see you again in a minute. Alrighty, we got the other two pieces on. Now we're just going to put these two little end pieces on. I guess we're back to one more important thing and when we finish this we want to be as close as possible to the center of this piece of wood as we can and that way it'll match with the groove, the center of the groove on the styrofoam. So that's the only other important thing. You just make sure you're close to center when you finish up with your cork. So we'll put these last two pieces on and I'll be back. Alright, so we're done this. We've got it all stuck down. I've just left the, uh, the end pieces just hanging off here because there's going to be more cork going after this onto the styrofoam and carry on with the track so we don't have to worry about taking that off. Now we've got like a finished piece of wrap here. Well, almost. What you're saying is it's still the ugliest looking piece of wood you ever saw in your life. And it is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back out in the shop and I'll use the band saw to trim this off. But I mean you can use a, you know, a saber saw or a jigsaw, even a, just a handheld saw. All you want to do is you want to, you know, trim that wood right down to the bevel in your cork. Just on both sides, just like that. So, uh, you know, not hard to do. Just I happen to have a bandsaw so I can do it real fast. That's all. Okay, welcome back again. We're in the shop. Uh, we're at the bandsaw, and all I'm going to do is, is trim just the sides off of this and make it look pretty. So, we'll get it started here. I don't know if you'll hear me over and above the saw noise, but. There we have one side, and now we just do the other side. And two, and it's once again just take it off right close to the cork. So, uh, I don't know once again if you'll hear me over over top of the uh, the noise of the bandsaw, but we'll give it a try. Alrighty, we're back in the house and uh, what we've got is what was our ugly board a few minutes ago is now it's been trimmed right down and laid in place. It's fitting pretty good. A couple of minor adjustments, but all in all, we've got a good job on our hands here. What we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to be calling this quits for part three because part four will be taking it up finishing our channeling in the styrofoam, making that nice and neat, and then carrying it across the top of the styrofoam out the other side. So that'll be part four, but uh, today this will be the end of part three. I'll cut this off, get it on the uh, internet for you. You can have a look, and once again, you know, if you've got a comment, uh, if there's something you see you don't understand, leave it in my comments. Uh, somehow get a hold of me, and uh, you know, I can always be reached. It's Ken Jack, K-E-N-N-J-A-K, at hotmail.com so what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna try something new uh, as far as posting goes I don't use a lot of subtitles today I'm going to try and put my email on the last subtitle so we'll see how that goes anyway I want to talk to you later you have a good night thanks for watching and stay tuned for part four thank you